Hi guys. So um, we're in the car now. We're driving to the city of Aalst in Belgium. It's about half an hour from where we are. Um, we're going to see um, uh, somebody who called us, uh, who has uh, said he has, uh, he has found a World War II military on his attic, his, his father's attic actually. Uh, his father died uh, about half a year ago and they're cleaning the house at the moment. Um, so um, we're very excited. Uh, what we can find there and uh, hopefully we can unpack it uh, later today. One case full of new stuff. So here's the new case we just got from uh, Alst. Um, very special. Um, this stuff not, did not come from a collector but it was actually on the attic since uh, World War II. And um, the, what I immediately found is that this was actually left behind after the liberation of the city of Aalst. So I will just look in the case and we'll see what we find here. So um, this is the first thing. Um, as you can see, it's a German belt, Luftwaffe belt, um, with a P38 uh, soft shell holster. Um, but as you can see, it's uh, actually a souvenir belt, um, probably left behind by one of the British soldiers there. Um, and it has um, captured Polizei insignia pinned on the on the belt, um, and this was actually a typical souvenir for uh, Allied forces uh, they took from um, from Germans, and then all the the pins they could find they would pierce on the on the belt. Um, next thing here is a, a German Luftwaffe helmet, as you can see, but um, what we can all, already see NSKK. This looks like a helmet they, they used uh, to make fun of the Germans after the war or 1945. Um, original liner is still uh, inside, original chin strap is inside, aluminum chin strap, early one. Um, but you can see it was been uh, probably uh, painted to make fun of the Germans uh, in, 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 in the, during the liberation parties. So what we have here is a... A standard German gas mask, still very dusty from the, from the attic, um, complete with straps. Also, the belt strap is there. Uh, the number is there. I'm gonna open it. I didn't even look inside yet. So here we go. It's a uh, maker marked and dated 1940. The, the spare glasses are still inside. Gas mask is complete, and even better, I'm trying to take it out. The original cleaning cloth is still inside, and the spring is still present underneath. This uh, this cleaning cloth and the spring is mostly missing, but you can see this gas mask is completely untouched, and probably the first time it, it has been opened in uh, more than 80 years. So what's next? This was close to the gas mask. Uh, it is the matching uh, pouch with the original uh, gas cape. And let's see, the gas cape is marked 39. As you can see, it's very fragile. And the original bag is here. It was like this, so maybe you have to force it back inside, I don't know if you can still manage that, but as you can see, this was probably one set as it was found together. Um, what else have you have here? This must be a British gas mask, World War II, if I'm not mistaken. There are some papers inside, air spray, eye shields, anti-gas mask, MK2, so it's British, 1941. So this must have been left behind by the liberators in the city of Aalst. You can see all the dust from the attic is still in there. The gas mask is complete, everything is inside. But I will just leave it there because it's very filthy at the moment. We might have to clean it a little bit before selling it. And these, were, uh, these came with the, the belt. This is one of the missing insignias. That was probably here. This police insignia was there as well. It's nicely marked FLL, Friedrich Linden, Lundscheid.
There was an army belt buckle parade model there as well. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, NSDIP party pin. I don't know what that did there because it doesn't really match up, but sometimes it just happens. Probably also a souvenir from the British soldiers that they left there in that uh, in that house. This is an also uh, also British uh, musette bag, I believe. I'm not really an expert on British military. I don't know what this is, but it looks British or American. It looks like a I don't know. I have to look it up what it is. First, some gators are there. Another gas mask, probably also British. Stamped 1938. And spoon and a fork. One German and one British. The British is marked with an arrow, a War Department arrow, dated 1940. So as you can see, fresh from the attic, it still exists in Belgium. It's not spectacular stuff, but it's untouched, all original, and we'll be adding these items uh, any day soon on the website. quite a find today. Um, my guess is that this material is probably left behind by uh, British liberators in the city of Aalst, maybe while uh, meeting a girl there and they forgot some of their stuff. Um, uh, it's untouched and um, as you as already said it will be available on the website. So thank you again for watching this video and don't, don't forget to subscribe for, uh, for more videos in the future. <laughs>